What up, everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. Ooh, voice crack. Today, it is finally time to talk about the Osprey. This bad boy that I got just over a week ago. And I gotta say, I really do like it. It's not perfect. You know, no ballast song is, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But while I'm thinking about it, because I already lost a recording, because I forgot to mention this, let's look at the box again. Because I mentioned in the other video that this could be kind of used as a stand. And then I realized, oh no, it actually can be used as a stand, because this insert comes out. So now not only do I have a box that I could put things in, but this insert, you can flip it upside down. Normally it comes like this, but now can pop that in there, pop that in there, boom, Balasong stand. And I mean, you guys can't see it, but if I look at that right now, that looks pretty good to me. In fact, I might actually like genuinely set this up somewhere and display it because I it's just such a cool thing. I don't know. This box continually impresses me. I like it. Is it excess? Is it excess? Absolutely. Is it completely unnecessary? I mean, yeah, probably. Most people wouldn't complain with a pouch nowadays or a normal box or something like that, but it's just so unique and I love it. And the fact that now I can use it as a stand too, it's pretty cool. Um, not the most universal thing in the world, but I did find out that the Arctic kind of fits in here. Kind of fits in the sense that I'm definitely bending the crap out of the 3D insert up here, but kind of in there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. The box is super sick. And overall, just the package that you get, the package that you get for the Osprey, about $160, 7075 aluminum, 3.6 ounces, is just really solid. I don't think this thing is going to be winning any awards at the price point that it's at, but I do think that it competes really, really well, especially for a designer that this is their first design, their first time releasing a Balasong. And I truly do think that oddly designed, not, you know, not insulting saying that the Osprey is oddly designed. That is legitimately their name, oddly designed. I think oddly designed did a great job for their first design. It's just, it's just solid. Now I do have a few complaints, most notably with the comfort and the tolerances, but the tolerances can be pretty easily fixed with some good old thick oil, which just make it sound and feel a little bit better. There's no tap to be heard of, so I can't really hold any points against it because tap is really the main thing that I and most people care about. But we have kind of an NRB situation going on where there's enough play to make it feel just a bit loose when you're flipping it, which some people might like. I personally prefer the Balasong to feel a little more solid and tight whenever I flip it, but your mileage may certainly vary on that. Um, and then the comfort, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, and by that I mean it is perfectly average. I would put it, honestly, probably right around the Orion, in the sense of if you flip it for a long time, you might be feeling some areas on your fingers where it's rubbing a bit too much or it's just a little sharp or anything like that. I would give it a solid 5 out of 10, perfectly average, nothing bad, just nothing particularly great to write home about. Now, as for the rest of the Osprey, I really like it. I know the biggest controversial part of this design, besides its Prisma-like appearance, which you guys made me all too aware of in the last episode's comments, episodes comments last videos comments whatever i need to go get food my brain just it ain't running on much today um the most controversial part of the design is most likely going to be the end of the handles because i know a lot of people don't like the angled end of the handles i've always been a sucker for it i really just like the silhouette that it gives the balasong when it's closed the silhouette that it gives when it's open i think it's really great and on the osprey specifically the lack of grip that you get from these is kind of a bonus in my in my eyes because of the choker fans on it. That little bit of lack of material down there lets me just get faster, longer, and more consistent choker fans pretty much every single time because there's just nothing to catch on your hands and interrupt the choker fan, and it just it just feels good. Now this is a place where your mileage is absolutely going to vary because I know there's going to be like tech flippers out there who are like, no, I need the material down at the end there. People who like ladders, stuff like that. 
But for my simple use case of I flip for fun sometimes, it I think it choker fans extremely, extremely well because of the missing material at the end of the handles. If I go to something like my OG Prisma, choker fans usually just kind of get stopped early because I find myself gripping too much and then something gets caught on like the the grippy sides or something like that and it just doesn't feel the best uh, where I don't really get that experience with the Osprey. Um, as for everything else with the Osprey, I haven't tested the hardware too thoroughly because I haven't had to adjust it at all. Um, the blade is relatively comfortable. Really, honestly, probably a slightly above average blade spine on this thing. And the bite handle indicator is <laughs> it's sharp. You know, you know when you are chaplaining on that thing. I mean, look at it. It's like little teeth. It's, it's crazy. It hasn't really caused me too many issues because, you know, I'm not flipping on the bite side generally, but you do get a good sense of when you've hit the bite side. Pretty good. Um, and the handles are relatively grippy. Ladders aren't the best. The jimping, I think, could be improved a little bit just because of the slippery whatever finishes on here. I don't think it's a bead blast, but it might be. And since you have less real estate to work with because it goes into this angle, ladders could be a little bit better. Obviously, there are people out there who are going to be better at ladders than me that could more accurately tell you how they are. But I, I think it's either average or proves slightly below average for uh, ladders on that. But despite all that, I just, I think it flips really well. I really do like it. 3.6 ounces is very light. Um, and part of me does like the more weighty feeling of the handles that you get on heavier balisongs. But I don't think it's bad by any means. You get this feeling of distributed neutrality because the handles don't really have any hot spots on them. So when you first flip it, you're going to be like, oh, I don't really feel like this is going to do well for rollovers or chaplains. And then you do rollovers and chaplains and it's like, oh, no, it does have the handle weight to do that. Um, because, you know, the angled handles, you're not dealing with this big hunk of metal down here. You're kind of giving that up, especially since in here is curved as well. So there's this very thin channel of just pure aluminum to weigh down the end of the handles. And when you start flipping it, you kind of do feel that. But then you do Chaplin type stuff and it feels pretty good. If I had to compare it to anything, I'd almost say it feels like the Vulp if the Vulp could actually Chaplin well. Because the Vulp also has that kind of feeling of like, oh, hey, it doesn't have a lot of weight at the end of the handles, I feel like. But then you go to Chaplin with the Vulp and then it flies off your fingers because you have to do giant circles. And it just, it's the reason I didn't really like the Vulp all that much for a little bit there. Still recommend it to beginners. I still think it's a great beginner starter pack balisong. But as a more experienced flipper, I don't know. I just, I like to Chaplin and the Vulp doesn't. So we have a fundamental disagreement on that front. But after getting the Osprey, I found myself flipping it, enjoying it quite a bit. And then I went back to the Vulp and I enjoyed the Vulp more than I remember. Um, so it leads me to think that they have a slightly similar balance profile. It's just that the Osprey can, you know, well, that was a terrible example. Also, I managed to like drive the point directly into my into my palm, um, but it can, you know, actually chaplain and do that stuff. And it doesn't fly off my fingers every five seconds like the Vulp does. So that's pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't say it's like exactly like the Vulp, but from my collection, the thing that I would compare it to the most is probably the Vulp. It has a very similar flipping experience when you're not chaplaining to the Vulp. So, you know, that's how it goes. Um, but as for, I think that's pretty much it. As for everything else, I'm impressed with the Osprey. I like it. I think it's a very solid design from a new maker and a great entry into the Balasong market that, like I said, isn't going to win any major awards, but competes really well. And I think looks great. I love the silhouette of this thing. I do wish that there was a little more angle 
in the blade to kind of complement the angle at the end of the handles, but you know, that's just how it is. Um, I guess the only other thing that I did want to mention is, okay, if you like these, what about the Icarus? Because the Icarus also has these angled handles. The problem with the Icarus, though, is that it has kind of, it has like that, the like spikiness on the bottom of those handles. So it almost provides a little bit of grip down there. So I didn't get the same feeling that I get on this with the more consistent choker fans with the Icarus. I got a very normal feeling choker fan just with less material to work with. So that's a point for the Icarus, not the Icarus, that's a point for the Osprey in my book. Although, you know, the Icarus is almost twice the price of this thing, I think. Wait, how much does the Icarus cost? I forget. It's more expensive, so obviously it's going to be uh, better in my book, and it is. But again, the Osprey, I think, is a really solid, solid entry into the 150-ish market. So great job, oddly designed. Thank you so much for sending one to me. I had a blast checking it out. And, I mean, this isn't the last time you'll see it. I'll definitely be flipping it in the future quite a bit. But until that time, I will see you in the next video. Peace.